I had a bad back and it had four operations. And so you have to keep it immobilized. That's what keeps us in bed and in wheelchairs and things because we have to keep our back immobilized. And what, what else can we do? We begin to move forward and our butt moves back and we use a walker, right? So I found this, <laughs> this here, which said it, it, it concentrated its area of strength was the your thighs and your butt it immobilizes your back so it doesn't move if you have any injury above your hips it doesn't move even your neck is okay with this your big neck brace and collars fit in and so what it does is it concentrates its efforts on your thigh area the back here and your butt the cellulite area, Get, getting down to use it. The pillow stays in the same place. You should use a couch pillow, not a bed pillow because bed pillows are too thin. And you put your hand on the headrest and you go down on one knee. And then you can, you go down on one knee, drop your hand and you can pivot your, you can get it so you pivot. It causes the small of your back to go against the board. It immobilizes your spine. It doesn't go anywhere. You're laying on the board. So you push, you support yourself with your heels and you push with your palms down with both. Push with your heels and you push with your, you can do this when I'm showing you this. Most just, you go, it's like you're like this, but you're stuck like this, so you do like this, right? After you do it every day and push yourself with your arms, the way the board immobilizes your, your spine, puts you on it so it stretches you out. The rest of it occurs between your heels and your butt. So your back, if you've got back pain, you can't say this is increases it, I promise. Like that. You know, when you go like this, you can, it's easy to take a big breath. If you're like this, you curve. No, but when you go, you go, oh my gosh, I can get the biggest breath of air. You let it out, so you go. Your body gets all excited, you flood it with oxygen. It, it helps all the trying to change your life. So you push with your palms and push with your heels. You straighten your back. My voice is getting worn. <clears throat> I need to get a sip. And you take a breath in and you take a breath out. And what you can do is you can breathe in through your nose. Then switch to. So you're like this. And I can tell you, you drop your right leg in. This is important. So that the sole of your foot is under the other leg. You go like this. But so you make sure that when your knee hits the ground and you're old man, gosh, it's not a happy event. So you always make sure the pillow's there, I'll just tell you that. It's worth stopping to make sure the pillows are. And you just... So that's how you get up.